Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I have just been taking this week pretty easy, as much as possible, enjoying life. Getting into my book wrap-up, this week I finished A Big Ship at the Edge of the Universe, by Alex White. This is his Salvagers series, and this follows two perspectives uh, prim primarily, Nyla and Boots. And this is more of a science fiction fantasy space opera, which again, space opera, I'm there. And it's the fantasy because each person has a, has magic, or can have magic. There is one character who doesn't. And there's a scientific reason why they have magic, hence the science fiction fantasy. The magic is how they really interact with their world, do their jobs, operate, figure things out, but they don't actually have to use the magic for every single thing they do. And this starts off with Nyla, who is a race car driver. She is going for the championship and sees a murder. And then it gives us Boots' perspective, who she does star, uh, the, the, she does star charts for salvagers, and some of them are good, and the majority of them are not. And an old crew that she knew from the war had bought one of her duds, and now they are coming back because they want compensation. And that is how everyone gets together. Boots trying to get out of her situation, says, hey, I, I know how to find the Harrow, which is a, but it's a ship that hasn't been seen for many, many years. And so they decide to take a chance. The same group that killed the person that Nyla saw murdered are trying to protect the ship. And so they keep running into one another. And it's just, it's a lot of fun. It does very much highlight some big issues about PTSD, war, what happens when you've been displaced from your country or your world. And also it points out the problems with privilege, thinking that everybody can obtain everything that somebody has. It was really good. So those are just little things you get through character development. But the main plot is a quest, and it's to find the ship. And I am loving this. I actually like this more than the other book I read by it. Alex White earlier this month, and this trilogy is done, so I'm looking forward to just jumping on in and continuing with that. Then the other book that I worked on this week was The Invisible Library by Genevieve Cogman. This is my buzzword prompt for the month of July, my sci-fi version of it, and I'm really enjoying this as well. It's also a science fiction fantasy, but more of a fantasy. The world building definitely has science fiction elements supporting it. And it's about a woman who works for a library and they there are alternate worlds that they go to to find books to bring back to the library. And they prefer fiction books versus scientific or histories. And she's been sent on a mission with a new trainee and things are not going as smoothly as she had hoped. I'm really enjoying this. I'll probably finish it this weekend. It's kind of my priority read to get it done before July since August is new release-a-thon and I am geared up for that. For my writing wrap-up, it fell on the wayside this week. I was focused on writing a cover letter for an internal job position and I hate cover letters. <laughs> And so that took all my writing brain power to get that done. So I hope to pick up writing again here in this next week, just for me, for fun. And then for other media, I listened to Cameron Hurley's podcast this past weekend, where she was talking about burnout. And I thought it was a really great reminder that we all burn out on something, whether it's our job, our hobbies, we, we all need to take breaks. And it's okay to step back and reevaluate our lives and decide and to simplify our lives in order so that we can get the most joy that we can. And it was just a really great reminder for me, especially as this next month is going to be nice and busy. So not a lot to say this week, but 
I hope that you're going to join me for new release thon at least reading one book that has been published in 2022 this next month. There are some live shows, and I'm going to put up the graphic so you can see. When we know who is hosting which week, I will add links down below in the description. Thank you, and have a great day.